Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back. My name's Amy and on this channel there's a lot of panning projects, makeup related things, and sorry if you hear that, that's my cat playing with her toy. And I'm not going to tell her to stop. <laughs> um, it, this channel is basically makeup and some lifestyle stuff is going to be getting sprinkled in because guess what guys figured out how to get my stuff off my phone onto my laptop finally and I can now edit my vlogs yay so stay tuned for that for today we are going to be doing my project pan update I think I've done pretty good I will say I haven't been wearing makeup that much since the last update I got sick and then I was just I'm not wearing makeup when I don't feel good, so yeah. Um, so, let's start with what's on. I'm going to just go down the line that I have it written. My first one is the One Step Correct. I will put a line in after. I've used this seven more times since the last update. I'm hoping you can see the line. So, we were here last. So yay, I think I've done pretty good. We don't have much left. I'm thinking two more months. What do you think? Two more months before that's gone? I haven't been using it every single time I do my makeup because I've been trying to do other primers as well. But now I don't have, I've just did the finale of one um, project and then, yeah, I think this is the only project I have a primer in it now though I do think I will be bringing in another one so hmm. all right so we got seven more uses on that all together that is 19 I've used it 19 times so far since we've started the project the next one is going to be a rollout. I do not like it. This is the Tarte Timeless Smoothing Primer. It looks like this. It's a little guy. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, hopefully you can see the little, a little dent in there. Um, I at first was trying it in this area, but I didn't like that it was peeling under my foundation. It does not like my Nude Sticks foundation. It works okay under other Tarte foundations I've found, but I still don't love it. And I'm all about the, the moisturizing um, pro products for primer, not smoothing primers. So maybe that's the problem. And then Ruth said, suggested that I would use it under my eyes. I did that three times. It looks nice when I don't put anything over it. But I have dark, like darkness right here. So I do use a color corrector and they don't play well together. So I am decluttering this. Hopefully someone wants it. If not, it's just going to sit in my collection. But um, yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. I have used it three more times. I used it those three times under my eyes. The first two times was on my face. And so we've only had five uses. So there's quite a bit still left in here. I just, it's just not for me, sadly. Next is the Nude Stick Tint Moisturizer. Um, I don't know if it's going to show much of it. There's no, there's no way of me putting another line in there yet. It's all sitting right here. I only used it five more times and all together we have done 20 times since this has been in. But five more times was not going to get this to move. I've been working on another foundation for my deco panning. So I have been trying to go back and forth, but to be honest, I've been using the other one more because I just want to roll it out. <laughs> so I know that this is not going to be a problem to finish and then I can bring in my next foundation. Um, but yeah, only five uses. Okay. That's a roll. Okay. Sorry, I'm getting distracted already. Uh, my Lor Lori, I want to say L'Oreal. My Laura Mercier powder that I have in here. Yeah, there's a little bit. I did put tape on. Someone suggested that. I'm so sorry. I forget who suggested it. Um, but yeah, there's a little bit of 
like it's gone down a little bit not enough to make a a mark I didn't want to put sharpie on here so they said put a sticker on a, a sticker or tape on there I didn't think about doing scotch tape so you could see it should I do that okay you guys saw where it's at I'm gonna do scotch tape now oh I need to make it go lower though oh well I'm gonna say it was here All right, so now that's a little easier. So that's where we were, and now I need to put scotch tape down below so we can still mark it. Okay, this might not be completely accurate, but go with it, okay, go with it. <laughs> so that's where we are now. I have only been using this on filming days. So what I do is I put on my full face. I usually go way ham on my blush, you guys know. <laughs> And then I just use it as a buffing powder just for this part of my face. Sometimes I was using it to um, set my primer on my eye. But for the most part, it's just for buffing out my overly done blush. So we have used this seven times since the last update. And altogether, it's 13 times. Not bad for someone who hates powder. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that for myself put that back in my bag um next is the milk highlighter inlet um I'm not gonna really roll it up or anything because there's no point like there's not gonna be a lot of difference and I'm like I'm not gonna roll it up and what am I doing I'm rolling it up yeah we're not marking this we're just going by usage but I have decided even though I haven't hit my 30 I don't know what I was thinking I'm like, I'm going to do 30 for this, this, and this, and then it'll be time to roll it out. Ah, I'm not. <laughs> um, I've used it seven more times. Can we see a theme? <laughs> and all together, it is 17. 17 uses. I'm rolling this out and bringing in another one for the springtime. And then in summer, I'll probably bring in another. So this is going... I feel like I got a lot of use on it. I do love this this highlighter, so I'm glad I brought it in. So I'm gonna put that to the side. Uh, the next thing was the Nude Sticks Contour Stick. Um, really, it's the all over face stick, but I was putting it in for contour, and this is in Bareback. It is this shade. It ended up being a blush. I only used it for contour like two or three times, and then I did a blush. I am wearing it under my other blush that's how I've been doing it there's been one or two days where I just used it by itself and those were usually like no makeup makeup days um, which don't happen that often if I'm gonna put on makeup it's gonna be the whole deal but I used that um, four more times since the last update so altogether it's been used 10 times not even close to 30 but it's rolling out for um, a different since I use it as a blush after all, I'm bringing it in as a, another thing in for a cream blush. Um, the Something that is staying in, because we're trying to hit pan on this baby, is the e.l.f. bronzer Forever Sunkissed. I have only used this. Now, I don't think this is correct. Oh, maybe it is. So that was 10 times. Yeah, 10 times. This is how it's looking. I'm gonna try to get a snap from the last one. If I don't, I'll make sure I get a, a picture of it this time because there is wear. There's quite a bit of wear on this and I sorta, of, maybe I'm hallucinating, I am sorta of seeing a ring. You tell me if I'm losing my mind because it's it probably is me losing my mind. But I'll take a picture and I'll end up giving you guys photos from now on so we can actually see what's happening but all together we have used this 5 10 15 20 um 32 times because i use it no matter what there's no other bronzers being used just that guy so yeah uh the next thing was my blush which is the cover fx blush in mohi mauve and it's going to look like this you can barely tell it's been used I did not use this as much as I thought I would, but I only used it six more times since the last time, and so that is 
nine times all together. I had way too many blush in my other projects. That was stupid of me. So yeah, but she's rolling out. I loved her. I am wearing it today. I always mix them together and it's on top of the nude sticks. But it's time for a different blush. We're going into spring. I want to change it up and then in summer it'll be changed up again. And then I'm probably going to bring this back in for um, winter. Then we have my lip oil. That was the Clarence lip oil. It's this guy. I'm going to take this out because it's deceiving. We're going to let it do its thing. So that's where we are. I'm hoping you can see we're right here. I'm going to mark it. Well, before I put that in, let's mark it. Not get Sharpie on my face. Okay, so that's where it's at. Um, this turns my lip that color. So I only use this while I'm getting ready or leaving it on my work desk and just using it as a way to moisturize because this does make my lips feel fantastic. So um, I use it for that. And I used it six times. Wait, no, seven times since the last time we updated and I only used it once that, that, that time. Then um, our last, but not, no, it's not our last. We have the palette too, but uh, I've barely used this and I've only used this five times. You still have the same window. We're not seeing any change. I'm slowing down on using this because I'm not putting concealer under my eyes. So yeah, that's becoming a problem. But we're going to keep it in. Try to finish it before the year's over. So all together, it's been used nine times. Yeah. So I did redo my tracking for my eyeshadow palette. We've got the Essence Nothing Compares to Nude palette. Um, I've used all the shades once more. And then this one has been used seven more times. So there's really not a lot of change. It is taking me forever to get use on these. We will be hitting pan in this before anything else. I'm sorry, I'm sucking. Doing my best. All right, I know that for the most part, I'm leaving things in to finish or hit pan, but there are a few things I wanna rotate with the season because I am a seasonal makeup wearer. Um, I'm not doing this in order. I'm just with what's in front of me and I'll put it in my book later. I do wanna finish this MAC strobe cream. I don't know where it's at. But I had it in another project, and I think I have at least this much left, like there. So I want to get it finished. So that's coming in as my other primer, but I can use this with this, so it won't hinder the uses. Um, oh, this is going away. I'm also going to bring in another Milk product. I'm bringing in the Milk... Cos milk makeup lip and cheek I'm bringing in the milk makeup cream blush stick stick in perk and I think this is a perfect color for I'm just gonna take it off the cap because there was a little bit there oh maybe not enough I'll just do this oh that's so pretty that's so pretty I'm gonna love that for spring. Absolutely love it. And I just wanna get use. This has never been used before. I got this last year in a little, they came in like a little makeup bag with all their shades. So I have quite a few I need to get through. So we had this finished work. Did I even talk about this one? Did I tell you guys that I used my milk makeup? No, it wasn't. Well, I had this in another project. Never mind. I have been using um, work during the, the winter months. So, anyways, sorry. 
So yeah, I'm going to bring this in. I just want to get usage, usage out of this because um, it's never been used. It's a cream product. I know I'm going to love this for spring. I also brought in a um, powder blush. And this is the Bare Minerals Blonzer and Kiss of Pink. I love this blush. I used it a lot, but you barely can tell it's been used. So yeah, I want to um, bring this in. Wow, when I did the the coral color, I tried to rub it in, it basically disappeared. Let's let's try that again. I might get rid of that. Do that and try again there we go that's better all right so this is the powdered one hopefully you can see it and that's the cream this is a more pinky bronzy color I never use as a bronzer it's just a blush and then that's my cream one I still think they would go together if I put them on top of each other but yeah I'm bringing in two blushes because I love blush so I wanted a cream and a powder so both of these are just get as many uses as I can on them I am going to try not to bring in any other blush into any well the only other uh project I have that it could come in is deca panning and if I did I think I'd use a purple blush because I know I'm going to want to use my purples too this this season uh the other thing that's being brought in to get for my highlighter i don't know why i'm stumbling over my words i'm sorry guys um i'm gonna bring in the charlotte tilbury hollywood hollywood beauty light wand in spotlights i've only used this maybe three no five times i had it in my five uses this has only been used five times i just want to get some use out of it it is a beautiful highlight um I really wanted to bring in a purple or pink highlight because that's what I use during this season. But I thought, well, what if you are just wearing a neutral look? Don't you just want to use a highlighter that, you know, that goes with everything? So there's that. So that's another one that's going to be in here for spring. And I think that's all the things I'm bringing in. I don't want to change out my eyeshadow palette I did say I would maybe but I think I'm gonna keep it in all year and it might take me all year to hit pan I would like to hit pan in more than one shade I really want to hit pan in all the shades but I have a feeling it's gonna be maybe two so we'll see it's only well it's about to be April tomorrow but yeah I have time I think now that I am bringing down my amount of projects I'm doing I think we're gonna get better usage I I was telling um, Kim like I would have so much better usage on my project pan items if I wasn't trying to share usage with two other projects so now it's just really one other project and I'm gonna try to not bring in things that will compete so yeah, we'll see. Hopefully next month there will be way more usage on these. And maybe, nah, we won't have anything that's empty, but almost, maybe, maybe. Because I think this needs two more months, and I also think my nude stick needs two more months because it's right here. So yeah, and I only do like one pump, so it might take more than two, but yeah. So that is everything. We rolled in two blushes, a highlighter, and a primer to go with everything else that's staying until we get pan or finish. So I feel still good about this. Like when I first started, I was like totally thinking I could do this in a heartbeat. Oh, yeah, we know I'm not a panner. I haven't yet <laughs> but I think I can I think I can get the usage and hit pan and get a couple of things emptied this year um, if I just keep focused try to put on more makeup I'm just I'm having a hard time y'all I'm having headaches I'm having stomach issues pain 
So, you know, I'm trying to not beat myself up. And I know you guys wouldn't want me to. So, yeah. I think I did pretty good for this month. And I'm hoping next month will be even better because I won't have so many distractions. <laughs> so, yeah. I still haven't got my glasses. They're saying maybe next Wednesday. So, I'm like, so, three weeks? Taking you three weeks? <laughs> like, I just want to see. Anyways, enough of me ra rambling on. I have a lot to film today, so get used to this look. <laughs> There's going to be more. Thank you for having patience with me and giving, giving me the support I actually really need. You guys are always so good about that, and I totally appreciate it. I really do. So thank you again for giving me some of your time, always being here. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you want to stick around and you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Happy Easter, everyone.